camera comparison. On one side, I've got an iPhone 7 Plus. On the other side, I've got the Sony A6000 with a Carl Zeiss 24 millimeter 1.8 aperture lens open all the way. So right now, I bet if I stand back here, you know, with a lot of light, they probably look pretty comparable in video quality. Nice colors, lots of detail, both full HD, etc. The difference you'll notice in this lighting is that the Sony, uh, you get this nice, what they call bouquet, which uh, I'm in focus, backgrounds, I hope it's pronounced bouquet, it might be bokeh. Uh, but the background's out of focus, I'm in focus. Focus is in the background, it'll focus on me. Uh, iPhone 7 won't do that nearly as much. This is optics, and it's because on the Sony there's a big lens and a big sensor, so that's my thumb, and the way the light goes through the lens and hits the sensor, if the aperture is open, so the lens is open really big, then automatically, uh, just because of optics, whatever's in focus will be sharp, everything else will be blurry iPhone has a tiny little lens, tiny little sensor, so that doesn't happen naturally. With the iPhone 7 Plus, like some of these other new phones, it's got two little cameras, and then digitally you can fake bouquet in photographs. So I bet in another year or two, uh, it'll be able to do it with a video. So it's really coming on phones, but for now, the only way to get that nice bouquet is uh, actually with a big sensor and a big lens. We've got a three-way comparison. So you guys stand close together. So over here we have the iPhone A6000 in the middle and then the Sony A7S II over there. Now what I'm expecting is that you're going to see a big difference between them. Um, how big, I don't know. Um, but I imagine there's definitely going to be a difference. Um, and we'll know soon. almost into the river. So here, I'll just do, uh, I'll try to do a hyperloop with these. I wish there was more weight on the end. Ta -da! Okay, so when I put these side by side, we'll be able to see how much of a difference is, there is. I'm expecting that in the low light, the iPhone won't do as well, but you never know.